Good morning, welcome to a new vlog. My name is Sonali and this is going to be like the week that we actually, you know, get into our goals. I did a little bit of resetting before the new year and just like coming up with my goals. So I really wanna like talk about my goals, my ins and outs with you guys in this vlog. Um, in the last vlog, I told you guys that I'm back on the health grind and hopefully staying here for a good bit. So I just have not been feeling the best about myself lately and we have a wedding to go to in February and then right after that I'm going to a beach trip with my college best friend so again I just really want to like feel good about myself. My breakfast fixation recently has been just like an omelet type thing. I chopped up some onions so I have those like prepped and ready to go. I feel like that is the biggest part of like cooking at home is just like having things that are already prepped and you don't have to like cut up vegetables every time you want to make something, you know? Um, so I put onions, I do spinach now, and then I do just three eggs and I'll scramble them a little bit. If you're new here, don't mind my pantry back there. It is like probably the least unfinished part of this house. We moved into this house in October. Actually, I think it was November. So I remember we moved in right after a Halloween party. In this house, we put in new hardwood floors but I didn't want to put them in the laundry room because I really want to do tile and I already bought the tile. I'm going to do like this stick on thing, but now I'm wondering if I should just get someone to do it like professionally because on my blog comments, somebody actually re recommended that I do like self leveling on the floors, which we had to do for the hardwood floors. And now I'm just mad that I didn't go ahead and do that. But at the time we just stuffed everything in, um, the laundry room but anyway so yeah i need to do that there's honestly so much house stuff that i want to get done in this new year so that'll be exciting to share on the vlogs bathroom renovations are starting in two weeks or maybe like a little under two weeks so that's also really really exciting um i finally picked out like all the tile if you are renovating a bathroom i highly recommend just to go in a tile shop and have someone help you out because this whole time I've just been looking at Pinterest and so and like trying to find it online but my contractor recommended me to go to a tile shop because he was like if you buy it from there you can also return it if there's any unused um, boxes so I definitely wanted to have that option because obviously if I bought it from like Wayfair or something it might be a little bit harder to return so um I went to the tile shop here in Austin and the guy was really great, very helpful. We decided on all the tile literally in 15 minutes and it all happened so fast that I was like, oh my God, am I making the wrong decision? But I've just been thinking about it for so long and I think it just was meant to happen fast so I didn't have time to like think too hard about it, if it makes sense. Um, but I've been trying to perfect my omelet making. <laughs> so let's see if I can do it well this time. They say to like make a lip and then like pull the egg into the insides so that the runny part can like, you know, go to the outsides. I don't, like I'm so bad at explaining things. So don't learn from me, but I am working on it. Now this is just turning into like soft scrambled eggs, which honestly I don't mind because I love the way they taste and like the texture. So I guess we'll just do that. My weakness is soda and sauces. So I'm gonna add a sauce to this in a second. Um, but I also want just two slices of these Trader Joe's prosciutto. They are so yummy and perfectly salty. This is my sauce of choice, hot and sweet Maggie sauce. If you're Indian, you know what the sauce is. I usually eat it with samosas. Honestly, it pairs well with lots of food. I am starving. <laughs> It's 
1257 and I have a call at 115 with my like to know it representative. It's my first call with this new girl, so I'm excited to meet her and kind of put a um, name to the face. But we're just gonna basically talk about like best practices for the year and I just feel like I need a little bit of motivation if I talk to someone that like works there, maybe it'll help me um, because I just have not been like the greatest with posting links and stuff. I um, want to post like more home links and everything with the bathroom renovation coming up and I know there's huge home like LTK influencers. So I wanna talk to her about that and some other things. So I'm just gonna pull up the link and make sure my Zoom is um, downloaded because I don't use Zoom um, very often. But when I do, it's like, update i'm like are you kidding me like i have to be on this call in two seconds so it's in google meeting actually or google meet so let me try to figure this out i have 15 minutes i don't know why i feel rushed right now but let's see if i can find it yay okay i got it can't remember what brand this was but i think i had like an onboarding meeting session and the girl didn't turn on her camera and i was like oh then like what is the point of doing this like brief thing and like what's the point of doing the video call because i had my camera on and i was like prepared for it i wish you could just like tell them in advance like oh it'll just be an audio call so that i don't have to get ready or like i don't have to you know put in the effort like i can be in my pjs and no makeup and not feel guilty about it. About to join the call, I just cracked open an Alani new. Been loving these lately. Um, and I'm gonna join now. Call is done and I thought I would like share just some thoughts and some notes in case you guys are interested in doing like you know it. I remember like a while back when I was in my first apartment, I did um, like a little series on on how to get accepted and like how to even use that because I know it's so complicated once you just get it on it. Like I said, I really just needed that for like motivation because I know what I should be doing, but some new things that um, kind of came to mind is that I need to be sharing my home things more like on Pinterest because that's where I look for home inspo and then I can like link in the Pinterest um, pin nowadays. If you didn't know that, you can actually add links to pins. Um, so I need to do that and then maybe just like sharing the best sellers from my analytics. That is my favorite thing about Like to Know It is that you can actually see what you've sold, how many you've sold, even in the specific duration. So you can kind of pull those analytics to then put in your media kit. So for example, I've had two Wayfair couches and I did YouTube videos on both of them. And so now because I have like those evergreen videos on YouTube, I get a lot of sales through that. So I can see how many like couches I have sold. And basically I can use those analytics to then go reach out to another home brand. Um, so I really need to get back into just like reaching out to more companies, especially because now I do have a house and there's so many things that I could possibly collaborate with a brand on. So anyways, that's just some of the notes I took and we were also talking about just like my goals in general and I feel like I just really want to stay consistent this year on everything which is just a lot like I already feel overwhelmed thinking about that but I feel like I'll do really well on TikTok and then YouTube will be slacking or I'll do really well on YouTube and I won't be posting on my Instagram stories very much which I don't know I just feel like I, I think too hard about it and I want to like stop overthinking so Anyways, join me in less overthinking in 2024. Back again in the same spot, still drinking my Alani new, but someone is about to come to the house to give me a quote for a possible Murphy bed. Um, if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically like the beds that you can pull out from the wall. It's not folded, it's like a full bed. You can choose the size that I guess you can get a queen to. Um, but I was thinking about doing that in my office because basically we only have three bedrooms in this house. One is the primary bedroom, one is Ryan's office, which is pretty small. And then one is my office. And I obviously am going to put a desk in there. So I really just don't want to put a bed in there. And we also do have the loft area, which we have our um, West Elm pullout couch, which we're still going to use. But I didn't want to put that couch in my office because it's pretty bulky. But I also don't want the guests to like just stay in the loft area because there's just like no privacy. It's literally like where, where you come out when you um, go right up the stairs. There's no like doors or anything. I mean, I could do like the whole blow up mattress thing anytime anyone comes over and like move the desk over because I'll probably have to move the desk for the Murphy bed anyways. 
but it would be nice to not have guests sleep on an air mattress, especially because we have a house. Like if only we had one more bedroom, like that would be so nice just to have it set up and like there and not have to like move things around every single time. Not that we have like visitors very often, but it's just always in the back of my mind. I'm like, oh, when that does happen, like what the heck are we gonna do? Anyway, so I looked up some options online. It's not cheap, but I feel like it's worth it because It'll just be nice to like have that ability to pull it out and make the guests comfortable and they'll be able to have their own privacy. I found this company, it's called Closet by Design and I feel like maybe they're a chain, I'm not sure, but they had like a good deal online. Like they had a pretty hefty discount. So I'm not really sure like what their prices are starting at, but they're gonna come and do an in-home like quote. So I was like, mm, it's free. Might as well see what it's all about and if it's even possible in the area that I'm thinking of putting it in. Yeah. Can you see that okay? Yeah, I think just de definitely the darker one. That's what I'm thinking too. Yeah. Little update on the Murphy bed situation. It was definitely a lot more expensive than I thought it was going to be, even with... Oh God. <laughs> even with um, the discount, like a pretty hefty discount too. I was like, damn, like who's buying this for full price? I just looked online to a very similar like layout and everything. And it was like literally half the price. But then I remembered that I saw this somewhere it was like a foldable bed with oh let me turn down my screen okay a little more um so it has these little foldable bed frames there's two of them so that way you can easily store these away and then let me show you guys the foldable bed it looks like almost like a what's it called mattress topper but it's like an actual mattress so th something like this, you can store it away. It comes with a bag and it's memory foam. So I don't know. I feel like this is definitely the more cost effective way um, because this mattress is only like 200 something dollars and that's a queen. And then the bed frame was like under a hundred. So I might just end up doing that. I mean, again, like I could pull the couch into my office, but I'm not sure I really want to do that. And plus we have like so much attic space. I think we are going back to the drawing board with that. I've actually been waiting to open this package, this big giant package back there with you guys. It is our primary bathroom vanity. Top of it came separately from the base and I really want to see what it looks like because it's just white. And I really wanted to do a custom like marble top since we picked our tile for the bathroom it is like this marble texture so i don't know if it's going to be too much marble because the marble that i wanted on the countertop is much different from the marble that we picked for the floors and the showers because it's just going to be all the same for at least the primary bathroom so i don't know i might have to scratch that idea and just go with a plain countertop um so let's open it and see what we're thinking They look really deep. Yeah. Oh gosh, thank goodness. I was about to buy one just with two drawers. Yeah. And the three drawers is going to be so nice because I have so many products and it has the U-shape so that the plumbing can go in. But wow, it's going to be so game-changing to have so much storage. Time to open the top part of the vanity. Just this plain white, no veining or anything, but I kind of like it. It feels simple. And I wish the sinks weren't as big because there's like only a little space and there's just not going to be as much countertop. Well, so, yeah, I guess that's true. It's a good thing we have a lot of storage, but I mean, I guess there's a good amount of countertop on the sides, but literally the sink is just unnecessarily big. I'm in love with this. It was pricey. Definitely did not fit in my contractor's budget or whatever budget he gave me. I'm not, Sophie, do you mind? But I'm not mad about this purchase. I really like it. And I guess it isn't gonna be this tall cause there is like a little padding on the bottom, but I mean, it's gonna be very similar. And I guess with the countertop, it's gonna feel a little taller too. So this will probably be, the actual height. I just left for the gym. I'm actually gonna take a rest day today because um, yesterday I started my period and 
this morning was a struggle to be honest and I'm gonna go to the gym in the morning and like actually do a class at Lifetime. I'm a little nervous. I'm not trying to like look into what exactly this class is. I think it's just like cardio and strength, but I think it's best if I just go in not knowing what I'm about to get myself into because then I'll just like stress out about it and then get really nervous and cancel. Um, but I'm going with one of my friends. So it's nice because I'll have an accountability partner, but I also forgot that we got our guest bathroom mirror delivered. So I wanna open this up. I'm basically just opening everything up to make sure that nothing's like damaged because my contractor said that like, if we are like waiting on things, that's what is gonna delay um, the final product. So obviously don't want any delays because the more it's delayed, the longer we go without like a full bathroom and we will have shower at lifetime, which isn't a big deal, but you know, it's gonna be a little bit inconvenient. The dining room is a complete disaster, but this is where I'm gonna just lay it down for now. Um, but it is this like oval mirror. Let's see what it looks like on the front. I don't know if you can see over there, but it has the defog button and also like the light mode switch. So I'm gonna plug it in and see if it works. Got it plugged in, so let's see. Ooh, wait, I think it has multiple modes. I thought, <laughs> I hope it does, but even just this is beautiful. I finally caved into getting blue light glasses like a couple months ago and then I freaking stepped on my glasses. So they broke and I had to get another pair, but they're from Amazon and they're like under $15. And they are so cute. I mean, I mainly just wear them to look cute for literally no one else but me, but also like they work as blue light glasses. So that's always an added bonus. I am actually supposed to be wearing glasses, like real glasses. So maybe one day I'll get glasses that are similar to this. Random fact, but I pretty much only see out of one eye. Like I really don't use this eye at all. And I have been that way my whole entire life. Like I thought that was so normal to just really see out of one eye. I'm not like blind in this eye, but like very, very blurry. Um, and I had a pretty bad lazy eye when I was younger and I actually got a surgery. So now it doesn't like go lazy whenever. <laughs> I kind of can control it a little bit more. So yeah, that's a random fact that sometimes I forget. But if you guys are interested, I'll link things down below. I'm getting so hungry and I probably should have started dinner way earlier, but I think I'm gonna make wings tonight. The, um, big championship game is that what it's called the national the national championship that's what it's called is on tonight so i think wings would be perfect at first ryan didn't even really care to watch it i mean the past two years georgia has literally been in the national championship so i totally get it like it's not your team so it's not really like a big deal but i thought it would be fun to eat some wings and watch some football I was gonna say for the last time, but I guess that's not gonna happen until like Super Bowl is like totally over. I just feel like football gets longer and longer, like the seasons, it just never ends. But then when it actually ends and I don't wanna do anything on Sundays, but just lay on the couch, be on TikTok while Ryan's watching football, then I get sad about it. Ryan likes the drums better, so I just got all drums. I actually like a good mix of both, but I didn't see a mix pack at the grocery store. So I'm going to make these, I'll probably just do buffalo sauce. I usually do like a mix between buffalo sauce and Parmesan garlic, which honestly wouldn't be, no, I think the healthier is probably just the hot sauce one. We're just gonna season them really quick. I'm gonna do garlic powder, some paprika. We'll do some onion powder and salt. Ryan's one request was to make it really crispy, so we're gonna use some cornstarch and just sprinkle it all over. them into the air fryer just to make them extra crispy and then I'm gonna toss them in the hot sauce.
Ryan just got home, but look how good these wings look. And I also made some green beans because they were about to go bad. So we have a little side dish. The green beans are nice and garlicky and salty. Who do you want to win tonight? Probably Washington, I just hate Michigan. Are you I'm sad gonna... Georgia's not in it? It was inevitable. It was inevitable. For you all not. could be here if he got a shot. No. Can you get this one? Like, maybe sprint. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. It is Tuesday. This morning I woke up for a morning workout, which I haven't done probably since the beginning of the year, I think. We've just done afternoon workouts and I was kind of vibing with them, but it's just so nice to like get it over with in the morning and just have your whole day ahead of you and not have to like think about having to go to the gym later. So um, we got it over with today and I feel really good. Might not feel really good later on when it hits the midday slump because I think that's like why I don't love working out in the mornings, but for my schedule it just like works out better especially being a content creator and like having to put on makeup and having to do your hair not having to but like obviously you want to look presentable and good throughout the day so that if you want to film something you can just go ahead and film it today we tried the ultra fit class at lifetime there is also gtx and a bunch of other classes i met up with my friend kiana and i specifically didn't look into what this class was because i knew i'd chicken out i was just kind of expecting something like berry something along the lines of orange theory and it was pretty much like that the first thing the trainer said to us because we told her it was like our first time doing it she was like okay this class is all about running as fast as you can and <laughs> we were just like great we were absolutely not runners but honestly i really liked the layout of the class basically we're at like a base pace and then you would go to the floor and do like one workout go back to the treadmill increase the speed and then decrease the time and the time wasn't even that crazy like the base pace started at like three minutes and then it decreased from there um so i just like kind of started at like a base pace of like a jog what really got me is that on the screen it shows like all of the you know times and how much you should add on every time but at the end it told you to go at your base pace plus like four for like 30 seconds i was like okay totally doable 30 seconds and done but then she bamboozled us and said we had to do like 30 seconds four times and then the 15 seconds four times or maybe like it was three times and then four times anyways it didn't say that on the screen so I literally thought I was going to be done after the 30 second one it definitely pushed me outside of my comfort zone of number one running and the floor workouts were very interesting because they were more focused on balance which I really never focus on like we used a lot of the BOSU ball so that was the workout of the day and I'm feeling good I need to go home. It is hair washing day. I do want to style it. And then after that, I'm going to go meet my friend at a coffee shop today. I really need to like finalize everything for the bathrooms because one week from today is, oh wait, maybe one week in a day. But anyways, they're starting bathroom renovations next week. As you guys probably have heard many times, I feel like I keep saying that, um, but I need to actually buy like everything, meaning like the shower fixtures, I don't even know what else, but basically I got the tiles and need to look at a toilet and a tub and all the little not so fun things. So as you guys know, I've been looking up just random bathroom things and I really wanted like those linen pull down curtains for this huge ass window. And I was looking at just the prices of them all. You like customize them online and everything. It's like $500 for one like window um, curtain. So I don't know what else could be an alternative. Actually I do the bamboo ones, but like it's just not the vibe, especially with the tile that we chose. I don't think I'm gonna love like blinds with it just cause I feel like if we're updating everything, it's just not gonna go. So let me know if you guys have any other ideas to put on the window. Cause it is like a huge window and it's just like right behind the mirror. So it is a big part of the bathroom, I would say. I was influenced by the girlies on TikTok and I got this little thing. It's called Wella Ultimate Repair Miracle Hair Rescue. Not that I, my hair needs a miracle rescue, but I always want it to be shinier and healthier. So this says um, that it's color safe number one. It says use once per week or two to three times per week for damaged hair. Um, apply 10 to 20 pumps. What the? Try to dry it as much as possible with a towel. So let's go in. 
into the pumps. I have a smaller bottle just to try it out. So we will see if this actually makes a difference. I mean, my hair really isn't that bad to begin with. Although the ends are still like dyed. I think this starts my virgin hair and up. And one of my goals this year is to grow it out so that I only have my virgin hair. I'm not gonna say I won't dye it ever again. Because I really do like when like hair has dimension. And now that I'm older, I really don't think I'll ever have like that shiny virgin hair that I had like in middle school and high school. Ugh, I miss it so much. There's still some wet spots in the back, but like for the most part it's blow dried. And I feel like I see like a little, a little bit of shine, but like nothing crazy, nothing insane. Maybe that's just cause I didn't do enough sprays or I didn't blow dry it good enough, but like I'm not mad about it. Like my hair looks pretty good right now, but I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting to do. So I have an ad going up today on my stories and TikTok and everything and my hair is curled and I'm wearing this sweater, which I like to, you know, wear the things that I wear in the ads like the same day. So I wanna, you know, keep posting on stories and make it more, not timeless, but just make it look like it wasn't filmed on another day. But I don't really wanna curl my hair because I'm like, eh, it's kind of nice straight. So I think I'll probably just wear this sweater and if I wanna go on stories and like to actually talk, I'll probably just put my hair up in a claw clip I know that it probably doesn't even matter. <laughs> like you probably don't even care if my hair is curly in one second and then straight the next. Because I feel like people know these days that like if you're doing a brand deal, you do have to get approval. So you have to film it before. I mean, maybe the big influencers, not so much, but us little people out here, we definitely have to do that. So I ended up just lightly going in with the straightener and now I feel like it's so much shinier and it smells really, really good. It smells like I just got my hair done in a salon which we love but i wanted to show you guys my new yearly planner in the past couple of years i have been just all online like everything's on my phone everything's on my computer but in college i was a huge paper planner girl and i actually had this planner it's called day designer and the best part is is that they have like a monthly view so that's like the full month of january and then you flip it and then it has like a to-do list. It even has a time block section where it goes from 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. And I love that about it because I just feel like I'm more of a visual person. Like I love to know exactly what I'm doing at the exact time. So love that. And they have like dinner over here. What's due, don't forget. Today's top three, which I feel like I need to learn how to prioritize better. Um, daily gratitude and then just notes down here and it has a quote at the top. So I'm very excited to start using this. I know the year has already started, but I feel like nothing has really gone on. So I think I'm going to bring this over to the coffee shop and fill out my travel for the year because I do know of some dates that I'll be out of town. So that way I can just put it in the calendar and be able to see it at that monthly view. You guys don't understand, this used to be my life. Like I would carry around my day designer everywhere. And I used to have like this stripe, I think I had the black and white stripe one, but this is very like modern and sleek and definitely more like mature. So they have, I think it may come in a different color, but it's kind of like this linen material and texture. So I thought it was also really cute. They gifted me this planner and they also want to give away one planner to one of my followers. So I thought I would do a little giveaway here on YouTube. I will post the rules right over here as well as in the description box. And once I choose a winner, it's just like a code that I send you, I believe. So you'll be able to like choose your own planner, whatever design you want, and it'll sh get shipped directly to you. This is also very embarrassing to say, but since I type everything on my phone slash my computer, but definitely work more on my phone, whenever I have to sign something or write anything down, I hate it. I feel like my hands are like cramped even within the first word. I'm like, oh my God, how did I used to write essays? Like it's all about kind of just like practicing and like 
I don't know, getting used to writing again. So I'm excited to like have something to write on and honestly just get more organized this year. That's also one of my goals. So I'm excited to start filling this out. I brought a bunch of like gel pens in my computer bag. I'm meeting my friend at 1030. I think it's maybe a 20 minute drive. I feel like I just estimate 20 minutes for everything now that I'm in South Austin. But realistically, it might be like 15, but you know. Wiggle time's always good. I like to show up earlier than later, for sure. I got tulips on our anniversary and they, and they are opening up beautifully. Like I don't want these to die, they're so stunning. Um, so I'll definitely have to get more when they do end up dying, but I'm just gonna cut an apple really quick so I can have it to munch on if I get hungry. Like I showed you guys yesterday, I usually eat eggs for breakfast, but I don't have time to make like a full egg breakfast, so. I'm going to do an apple and then I might bring a banana. I did ask Nancy if we could go to Moniana because I feel like that's our place number one and also I just love their chai so much. Nancy's gonna be here in 10 minutes so I thought it would be the perfect timing to go through my ins and outs of this year. Um, and also I know I said it in like another vlog that me and Ryan were listening to um, Tate McRae's new album and we like didn't really like it. Guys, I take it back. I take it back. Literally, that's all I'm listening to every single day. I literally love this album, like pretty much all the songs, except for maybe two. Like I definitely like the more upbeat songs, but I know she has like a lot of sad songs. First in is caring less about my Instagram feed, which goes for both my photography page and my personal page. I need to stop overthinking everything that I post and everything that I do. I'll take photos and then hold on to them for weeks and not post them because they're not perfectly like fitting into my feed. So I just like really want to care less about that and just like post when I feel like it and post more just like random things like it doesn't have to always be super aesthetic or like the best outfit just like memories next up is cooking at home i feel like we got in a really bad habit last year kind of just like middle to end of year where we ate out a ton and you know it is hard in austin when there's so much good food around you to cook at home but i have already felt better just cooking at home and like it makes me feel productive because i'm doing something and it also makes me feel good because i know what i'm putting in my body and like you can definitely control the portions more if i go and eat out my eyes are always bigger than my stomach i always want to order more things to try them out and end up eating so much more than i really should be eating so anyways i just want to cook at home more and i've definitely been doing that so pat on the back for me but hopefully i stay consistent with that next up is accessorizing basic outfits i feel like i don't really have like the cutest jewelry or I don't know how to style them with a lot of the outfits I wore. So today I tried to do something other than just pearl studs. Um, these are probably from Amazon and I really wanna buy some more earrings that are dupes of the Heaven Mayhem ones. They are just like super big and chunky and I feel like that just adds a lot to an outfit. Um, obviously I have like my everyday bracelets on all the time but I want to do a little bit more than that and try a little harder because I've already invested in really good basics so I have that done pat now I'm just needing to spice it up a little bit next up is prioritizing international travel I don't know why I've just had the biggest urge to go travel somewhere that's not in the US one place that's on my bucket list this year is Mallorca Spain and I think I get really intimidated by just tr like planning the travel itself because the last international trip we did was Italy and I went for my dad's wedding so a lot of it was already like planned for me at least like one part of it so then we didn't have to worry about like just that one city but the rest of it we did plan ourselves and it wasn't that bad but I mean it was just like a lot of research and a lot of thinking so I feel like I might need Ryan's help this time I don't know and maybe it's just like a lot of pressure too you're only in the city for like three days and you need to eat the best foods and see everything so maybe it's just the pressure of it all but I just need to like sit down and just like plan it book the tickets maybe that's a starting point it's just like book tickets okay now we have to plan the trip because we're going another place that I really want to go is Mexico City and just do like a full-on food tour apparently the food there is insane so those are the two places that are on my mind right now um, next in is learning new creations 
creative skills. I've always told myself I really wanted to get more into like Photoshop and all the Adobe suites. So I really want to try to focus more on learning skills in After Effects. It's basically like motion graphics. So for my YouTube channel, if you wanted to create like an outro that's moving, you would create it in After Effects. And I feel like that is a good skill for me to have so that I can, you know, create those types of moving animations for my vlog. So I really want to get into that, but I also brought that goal over to this year. Um, so we'll see if I do that, but I, I would like to like be more realistic about it. Like maybe learn one new thing a month for my YouTube vlogs. Um, next up is renting my clothes. I've been doing Rent the Runway. I don't know if I told you guys about this, but I just think it is the biggest hack, especially in the winter, because I'm not trying to buy like five new trendy coats. Like I'm just going to rent them on Rent the Runway. And it was great because when I went home to Georgia, I just shipped all of my Rent the Runway coats over there. And that way I didn't have to pack it in my suitcase and it didn't have to take up my space. So I definitely recommend doing it when you're traveling and it's winter time, but they also have some really great options for the summer. I feel like when I did it before COVID, it was very mature, like too mature for my age at the time. But now I really like the designers that they carry and all that stuff. So you just have to make sure if you sign up, you're like choosing the exact dates that you want the clothes for and like making sure your size is in stock and like putting all the filters um, because sometimes I'll like sign up again and then the one thing that I wanted was not in stock. So just make sure you do that. But I do have a referral code. I think I just get like an extra spot per month. So if you want to try it out, I will have it on the screen if it's a code or if it's a link I'll have it in the description box. I also have tried Fashion Pass and I personally think that I like Rent the Runway better because they really just don't add enough inventory as often as like Rent the Runway does um, and Rent the Runway just has like again like really cool designers like Sim Kai and all those but like Fashion Pass is more like Revolve like Astro the Label and a little more trendy. Next in is simplifying the makeup routine which I feel like I've already done. I'm only using like two pumps of foundation and then concealer and just trying to spread it out as thin as possible and I've gotten my makeup routine down to like 15 to 10 minutes which I used to spend a very long time on my makeup and I don't I just don't think I need to do that every day because it honestly looks the same whether I put in 15 minutes of work or I put in an hour worth of beating my face so I just need to simplify it like I really do look the same it's fine especially because I've been putting on makeup every single day just to have it on just to feel more productive and be ready to film whenever I want I really wanted to have that as like an in for the year but also if I have any travel coming up like I don't want to pack a hundred makeup products and skincare products even though I probably will because I can never narrow it down but that is the goal it's really more for like when I'm traveling okay I already got it simplified so I can just take like 10 products and be good next in is trying new hairstyles I haven't really done this yet, but you know, it's just the start of the year, but I do want to do this, especially because I'm working out more. I want to like not be able to wash my hair every two days. Um, so we'll, we'll work on this. Doing nails at home, which I've been doing for the past year, pretty much like that full year of last year, I did my own nails. I did press-ons, I did gel X, I did normal gel, I did normal nail polish, I did it pretty much all. And I actually just purchased Dazzle Dry from Amazon. I'm so excited to try it out. I just have not gotten the chance to like actually prep my nails for the polish. So I really wanna sit down and like do the cuticle care and all that stuff so it can look really good. But I have heard so many good things about Dazzle Dry, so I'll definitely vlog it for you guys. But basically it's like a nail polish that is supposed to like last how long gel lasts and it also dries within like five minutes like each coat dries within five minutes and you know like regular nail polish it says it dries if you do a thin enough coat anyways i'm just gonna try it out i'm really excited so i'll definitely update you guys on that another end is actually trying recipes that i save on tiktok because i have so many saved and i literally don't ever open the folders and try them so what the heck why why even save them at that point Next in is arts and crafts nights, which I feel like me and my friends have kind of started doing that at the end of the year. We would like make cards together during the holidays, so that was kind of fun. And it's just like a nice activity that doesn't involve drinking. It could if you wanted to, but it doesn't have to. And then also you're off your phone because you're using your hands. So I just want to be more creative this year. Next is getting my hair trimmed more often. And it's funny that I'm reading that out now because I was literally thinking today like oh my god I think I just got my hair trimmed but I feel like it just grew out so fast which I'm not complaining at all <laughs> um next in is paper planners and I'll tell you guys my outs in a second <laughs> hi yeah 
Okay, okay. We'll get into the outs really quick. Number one out is just high expectations in general. Like, I don't want to expect anything from my friends. I don't want to expect anything from, like, a, a holiday. Like, people hype up holidays so much. Like, the 4th of July, it's fine if you just, like, chill for a second and, like, take a break. Um, but, I don't know. That can apply to so much. Next is buying a new outfit for every occasion. That kind of goes with renting outfits. Feeling rushed. I hate feeling rushed, so I really need to, like, wake up earlier, give myself that wiggle time. Impulse shopping which I've started a list of like the things that I want if I see something on TikTok and I like really want it immediately I'll put it on a list and like marinate on it honestly nine times out of ten I forget about the product like in a second so that's a great way to kind of stop the shopping staying inside all day if you want to rot like at least go out in the morning and like move your body or like feel the sunshine on your face over sharing especially to the wrong people falling asleep on the couch at night i hate when this happens i feel so out of it and then i have to like go back to my bed and then i'm on my phone for a while and then i can't fall asleep fomo we're gonna turn that into jomo this year lastly using the gps for everything because one of my goals is to just be more self-aware and i feel like i should learn road names <laughs> but i don't know if i ever will because i'm just really directionally challenged so anyways that's all my ins and outs so let's go into the coffee shop and get a chai Hello. Like, Thank you. <laughs> Not me and my other croissant. I just got home and I'm starving. I had my apples, only some because then I felt like my stomach was getting even more hungry and just like I felt like just acidic in there. So it's my first time that I remember eating tuna out of a can like this. I've been a little scared of it, but it's actually really not that bad. I put some hot sauce on it. I think I'm gonna put some more. Um, but I just want to get some more protein. It's really not that bad, especially for someone who like likes sushi and fish and all that. It is Wednesday around noon and we're gonna quickly go into the tile shop and pick out the shower floor tile. We picked out pretty much all of the tile except for the floor because I had no idea what I wanted. And I was not gonna settle on those like penny or like hexagon patterns on the floor. I just don't love it. So I looked up some inspo. I think I'm leaning towards herringbone, but we'll see what they have. Safe. Maybe I ain't gonna let you. Come on over. Oh, yeah. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> bathroom tile you'll just have to see which one i picked in the bathroom reno vlog but we're now in buta texas the guy said it, this place was like super close but i looked it up and i was like what the heck that is not very close um we are at like a stone and granite remnants place we're gonna try to find a remnants piece big enough to put on the countertop because i really do want that custom look and looking back at the tile that we picked for the shower it is pretty like simple so at first I was like oh maybe it will be just like too busy with too many like different kind of veins going through our bathroom everywhere but I feel like it might look good if I do a custom countertop yeah yeah, like that yeah. definitely so, there's a color that so apparently after COVID they split like the company I don't even know so they have two locations but a different name and of course this is like way closer to where we live Definitely not in Buda, so that's hilarious, but I think we're gonna maybe go later, or should we go now? Um, we have time. Let's maybe go later, I don't know. It's been such a random day, like a catch up on every little thing day. Like I'm doing multiple loads of laundry. I just sent an invoice to a brand, um, and I always dread that, but I realized that when my W9, it had like my first apartment in Austin, Texas like that address was on it. I was like, ooh, shoot. Like, I don't know if that really matters because it's just the W9 and not the invoice. But anyways, so I redid that. And I don't know why it took me so much longer to do that because I was trying to edit the um, Adobe file, but it wasn't editable. So I had to figure it out. Anyways, figured it out, all good. Um, also, like I know like just content creators in other places like move around a lot. And I just don't, like I can't fathom moving around. Number one, just moving your stuff. Like moving is a bitch. And number two, changing your address everywhere 
with brands, with your LLC, with your payroll people. Like, I don't even know where I need to change my address, but it just feels like it never ends and I, I always have to be emailing someone. So I just don't know how they keep track of that. But anyways, hopefully we'll be here for a good bit so I won't have to do that again. I also tried emailing pretty much every brand that I worked with in the past year to make sure that they have my updated um, address for the W-2s because I know they're starting to send that out. I hate talking about taxes. I hate doing taxes. I literally just wish I could never hear that word again, but that is the reality of I mean, honestly, having a job and making money, but also owning your own business. And it's not like very simple for me because I get income from like content creation and my photography business. So it complicates things to a whole other level and it just makes me want to go bonkers. But anyways, I need to like actually unbox all these boxes. There's like random bathroom things and just random things I bought on Amazon that I felt like I needed. AKA this tea kettle because I actually don't have a tea kettle and I really want to be a tea girly. My mom had one at home so I was inspired by her and I just like want to drink like green tea at night and just again be a tea girly. So I'm excited to have that although I really don't need one more appliance on the kitchen counter because I'm trying to declutter. I literally also went through like a stack of mail which is like ugh, I hate mail so much. I really wish paper mail was like obsolete other than like sending the Christmas card. But like, if you really need to reach me, like give me a call. You have my number. I just don't understand why we're still doing mail. I mean, I know you can opt in for paperless on some things, but I just really don't understand it. I went through all of that today and some of the mail was from September. Oops. This next package was inevitable because we don't have a fridge that dispenses water. So I finally got a Brita. Mom also had a Brita, so she inspired this purchase as well. But we could just put it either in the fridge or have it sitting out on the countertop and just have some good drinking water because sometimes when you have guests over, they can be picky. And I tell people that they can just drink from the sink and they're like, oh, okay. And I'm like, oh, what? <laughs> but I mean, I get it. Like in Orlando where I went to college, that water was nasty nasty like i remember specifically we went to the sushi restaurant me and ryan um it was like right after he flew in to visit me and we went to fujiyama in orlando or Oviedo, which is my favorite sushi restaurant side note i really want to do just like a food tour in my college town because i miss fresh kitchen i miss i miss sus high i miss fujiyama there's so many more that i miss but anyways that water that we drank there was disgusting and i'm just grateful that i'm able to drink from the sink and not think that it's disgusting but i get it some people don't want to drink from the sink it's fine so anyways i got this i think one of these years i'm going to tell all my college friends that we need to go to halloween horror nights at universal that was like one of my favorite things every halloween you pretty much go after hours and you get to go through like nine haunted houses, which oddly enough, I'm obsessed with haunted houses. That is like my roller coasters because I hate roller coasters, but I love the thrill of being able to like scream. And I think it's because like I know they won't be able to touch me. So I'm in control, but I get like the thrill out of it. But yeah, you get to go through haunted houses and also ride the rides in Universal, which honestly, even the mummy ride is like way too much for me. Um, so I don't like love the rides, but it's still cool to be like be in Universal after hours. So one of these years, I really want to plan like a college reunion around Halloween Horror Nights and also do a food tour in Orlando. This next package is bathroom sconces. I guess every little thing is like separate. What the heck? <laughs> I don't know why I thought it would like come already put together, but oh shoot. Is this only one? Hmm. Hmm. I thought it was a set of two. Okay, I need to look this up. I am so dumb. <laughs> I literally read too light dimmable on this sconce thing. I'll show you what it's supposed to look like. Yeah, two lights. I thought it came with two lights. So gonna have to order another one of those. I literally thought the price was for two, so that's kind of annoying. But this is what it looks like. It's gold and then it's pretty much like an hourglass shape and there's like a bottom one, you know, you get it. Okay, I'm gonna put this to the side. I'm just gonna like start making a pile for my contractor. We need to pick up the um, guest bathroom vanity at Home Depot because if I got it shipped to here, I think it would have taken way more time, like a week more. 
and I was just worried because I just did not want there to be any delays. I'm gonna go to the gym later tonight. I'm gonna meet my friend there, but we might try to go look at marble slabs or granite slabs, whatever they're called, stones, remnants, um, right before the gym if we have time. I'm getting really excited, you guys. Like, I think this is gonna be such a good bathroom reno. I mean, there's two, so, and there's they're pretty different. Mm. Yeah, I, f I feel like they're kind of different styles a little bit. So I can't wait to show you guys like everything I picked and just it all together. Definitely gonna be taking like the before and after videos so that I can do like maybe a full video on it. I need to break down all these boxes and put them in the recycling. Boy, do I miss my apartment ballet trash. Just got dressed for the gym. Kind of freaking out because I got tagged in a TikTok that was asking for like YouTube recommendations. I've seen these videos before and I scroll through comments sometimes just hoping my name would be there. And someone finally tagged me and it literally just means the world. So if that was you, seriously, I love you. That made my whole week. I'm really excited to get back into vlogging and just to be more consistent on YouTube. I feel like that is gonna be my word of the year. I also didn't like tell you guys my goals. Maybe I'll do that in the next video when my desk comes, which is tomorrow. So unfortunately all of the stone places is closed at five and we only got out the door at like 5.50 and the closest one was 10 minutes away. So we just, oh, 4.50. But we are heading into lifetime early. So I forgot to film anything in the gym, but that's okay because I was literally just walking. Kiana came and met up with me, um, but I literally walked on the trail for like 80 minutes. So got our steps in for the day and now we are getting tacos at Beto's. I feel like I say this on the vlogs very often, but we really liked Las Trancas when we lived in um, East Austin. And then of course, when we moved, we started eating Beto's, which was also in East Austin, like right next to our um, older apartment complex. But we found another location in South Austin. We'll see if the tacos are just as good. <laughs> 